Now, <clears throat> car I was always kind of interested in because it virtually is almost indistinguishable from the 450. The 450 SL is almost indistinguishable from the 450 SLC. Um, other than the fact that it's a little bit longer, it's got uh, actually it's more of a coupe. There's not a lot of room back there for for seats. It is slightly less expensive from a gas standpoint. Um, the fuel costs, I mean, the insurance costs are slightly less. And it looks virtually the same, except for the fact that it has, like, room in the back seat for um, stuff. You want to put groceries in there? You got groceries. You got um, um, I think the only difference is that I think they had a flat window in the back and this window kind of flared back and so where the, the other one kind of um, ended about here about here it has this addition on it and um, I can very um, I could barely tell the difference um, and then it looked as cool virtually it's a little bigger it's probably six inches longer wheelbase um, maybe even more than that because I would imagine there's not a lot of reason to have a lot of maybe a whole foot longer but I always liked the Mercedes Benz and the 450 I understood had to do with the fact that it had to pass California emissions or, um, or whatever. Um, it had to be more powerful with more um, uh, emission stuff that they had here in America that they didn't have over in Europe. So a 350 um, was more powerful than the 450 in America. So. Um, you could have a gray market one, import one in this country, the 350 was probably more powerful than the 450. 4.5 liters compared to 3.5. Because of all the emission stuff you had to put on for having an uh, uh, American car. There were probably also safety features. Like I think our bumpers were heftier and that did actually add to the weight. Anyway, right here at this former gas station, I guess it's a auto repair, big house auto repair and um, 